Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Let's Play Island. Uh, right now on Callan, it's 10, 19 a.m. on Friday, July 22nd, 2022. Now for today's announcement, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Callan welcome to Dottie. Dottie, on behalf of our new island family, welcome aboard. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. All right, we are starting a new day just in case we see the money spot, all that kind of stuff. But... Basically, today I wanted to hop on here and... Oh my god. Well, hello there. <laughs> today I wanted to hop on here and do a little bit of flattening because I really want to talk about some stuff. And it's Wednesday. I'll be streaming later, so I shouldn't be recording this right now in order to, uh, you know, not, not strain my voice too much. But, um... We're getting some miles, nice. Um, but I really wanted to chat about some stuff about content creation um, and even more specifically about um, what's gonna, like content creation on this channel, like what's gonna happen? Just cause I've been having some thoughts about it and I'm I'm kind of just, oh, beautiful pink right there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm basically just gonna use you as like, um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to use you as all somewhat of my journal or like just putting down my thoughts, I guess. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try and like just chat about what it has been on my mind because I feel like a lot of you, you know, a lot of you use this to to just kind of play it in the background, have some entertainment, a recipe, like a recipe recipe, some apple jelly. OK, I'll take it. Um, and just wanted to have a bit of background entertainment and therefore I think this is also the type of chat that could be absolutely fine and kind of uh, interesting like if I think about it I like to hear these types of thoughts from other people as well like from other content creators I always love to hear uh, what's going on for them like what are they wanting to do what are they wanting to work on what's happening what's being planned and so I thought why not why not kind of hop on to that trend or not trend uh, but why not hop on to that as well and just kind of chat about that for a little bit um, oh, we can now polish stuff. Great. Okay. Um, I was going to go and get my axe because I just did just see my money tree, uh, being ready to, to harvest, I guess. Um, but yeah, so, um, and then meanwhile, I thought, you know, we could just go ahead and flatten a little bit. We still have to do that every once in a while. And it, it, it does require some se serious chatting. So, um, you know, why not hop on here when I actually just have something I want to chat about and then, uh, take this opportunity to kind of uh, get some get some stuff get some stone stuff like flattened and carved away I guess okay so um let's take a look at the map actually because I <gasps> Dottie is here cute okay we're gonna worry about that some other time though and for now I would really say let's go ahead and go to the top left cliff I feel like that maybe should be what we start with we could also do water scale oh, look at the rocks spawning together okay um, we could also do the waterscaping, but I feel like I just want to start with that top cliff for now so that we at least have that like entire tier um, removed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that That's that's all for intros. I don't actually know. It hasn't been that long since I recorded, but I don't actually know what we did last time. I'm pretty sure that we did do the, well, we did do the DLC. And then before that, I think we were just kind of villager hunting. We were doing some other stuff. Oh, I think we met Brewster, right? We met Brewster and we went uh, villager hunting and then we did some DLC stuff. Yes, I think that's it. I sincerely hope that it's still interesting, like this let's play is still interesting. I don't know. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to kind of bring out different episodes, but I can, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's tough. It's also part of what I want to chat about today. I've briefly, I think, mentioned this before in a uh, in an episode but i just kind of i really just mentioned it i was like oh you know don't worry about it because obviously it's something i'm gonna have to worry about which is still true but i kind of wanted to talk uh talk about it with all of you because i feel like you know like i said it's always interesting to kind of know what's going on behind the scenes what people maybe are planning with their content and then um obviously it is going to be my thing to have to worry about so um so there's that but if any of you do have any input that you'd like to share anything you'd like to say about it honestly i'm super happy to read it in the comments um again i'm kind of terrible about responding to them right now but I will read them all and I will take like everything into consideration and just kind of, um, yeah, whatever, whatever it is, it, it might just, it might be 
just like, a, oh yeah, I agree with that, you know, <laughs> but um, I'd love to hear from you. So if you, if you do have any ideas uh, or, or thoughts about what I'm going to be saying, uh, feel free to put it down in the comments. Also, I don't mind if you do like separate comments or something, if you, if you find like different things. All right, let's, let's uh, try and like start from the beginning. So I've been playing Animal Crossing for, um, a little over two years now. So I started playing on the 3rd of July of 2020, uh, which I think we talked about when we started this island because that was like very close to the date just like two years later. Uh, so yeah, it's been like two two years and almost two months now that I've been playing this game. And um, I mean, me sitting here right now, flattening this island to prepare the decorating probably uh, is telling you enough uh, about the fact that I still love it and I still play it. I just recently finished an island. I'm currently working on a few separate islands at the same time again, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, but after playing it for two two years and two months, uh, pretty much, and also creating content about it for almost two years, I think I started somewhere towards the end. We actually, I can, I can go here. I started creating YouTube content about it at the end of September, like middle or end of September. Um, and so it's been quite a while and I've really, I've chatted a whole bunch about this, uh, this, this, uh, this game and this entire topic and my islands and everything. And after all this time, I can't help but notice that obviously the excitement for this game, unfortunately, is dying down a little bit. Now, I, I'm not saying that people aren't still excited. There's still a lot of people still excited about this game. I mean... I'm right here, you know, I'm still excited. I can I can see all of your comments saying that you may have just purchased the game and you're really excited to get, get started playing it and all that kind of stuff. So there are still people playing it. It's just that the general hype is kind of calming down a lot. And it's just really the people that are in it for the long haul, I feel like, that are still here. Or get like new people joining in, which is always super fun. And um because this is something I'm super passionate about, obviously that does make me a little bit sad. Um, because I, I can I can tell that it's happening. I can tell it from my views and from um, like the viewer amount on uh, on Twitch as well and stuff like that. And as a content creator, you kind of start questioning things and you kind of start thinking about things. So also, I don't know if you have been noticing this or if you've heard about this before i feel like a lot of people that aren't as like deep into the community um may don't know about this but recently there's been a lot of talk about modding as well so uh, for those of you who don't know you can mod certain so like modify certain um switches only the very 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 early ones though and then there are certain kind of applications and mods for animal crossing too so you can add like strawberries into the game and um, sunflowers and all that kind of stuff. And recently there's been a whole bunch of chatting about it and I don't really know where that's suddenly coming from, but a lot of like bigger content creators in the Animal Crossing community are also talking about it and also um, getting their own modded Switch and stuff. And it's it's an entirely different topic. I'm not gonna get into it too much today because um, it's, it's a very big topic, I think, but um, all of these developments make me worry a bit as a content creator um, because it feels like slowly the uh, attention and hype and stuff is, um, is dwindling down. Is that a word? I don't know. It's, it's disappearing. It's just that the hype is, is getting like very, very quiet. A lot of people are leaving the community and, um, you know, have just been burnt out by Animal Crossing, which is fair and it happens. And, you know, no one should push themselves to play this game if they don't feel inspired to, because I feel like that probably will just make it worse. Um, and then with all of this modded Switch talk, it sometimes can feel like as a creator, if you don't have that type of stuff, it's hard to keep up with everything. You know, it's your, your content like isn't above and beyond anymore. You know, you're not doing the extra special stuff, which I know that that's not the case. And I know that a lot of people are not gonna ever mod their switches or not gonna ever be able to mod their switches and are probably um, looking for more uh, regular content, just content that seems almost like as it's achievable, you know? Uh, so that that's just like a small, ooh, wow. 
Uh, that's just like a very small part of my brain. So I'm, I'm gonna try and like quiet that down and everything and continue to just make content from like a regular Switch pretty much. But yeah, so this entire like, you know, hype dying down and then some people in the community are turning towards a modded Switch, which I just can't really compete with and I don't want to compete with either. I've never even used like a tree glitch. So modding a Switch is just, I just don't see it in my future ever. Um, and so that and the views that have gone down and me wanting to really do this it, content creator thing it, for like the long run. Now, I don't want it to be my sole income in the future. I, I do want to look for another job so that I, I have that stable income and have like this this security and then can like really focus all of my passion on content creation and it's not really tied to all of these worries anymore. Um, but because I want to do this for like a long time, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about where my content should go in the future because I, I'm really scared of me and I've talked about this briefly with the let's play because the, the let's play content, obviously these are really long videos and I feel like a lot of people followed me for tips and tricks videos, for the treehouse video, for certain island tours and this might just not be the content they're looking for. And so I'm like afraid that I'm pushing a lot of people away. And at the same time, I'm afraid that if I stick to this game and I continue making content that's more on the slow side of it, that I'm just not, I'm just not really going to be relevant anymore, you know? And so I, I've just been, I know there's a lot of arguments saying like, that's not the case. You know, a lot of people are looking for very cozy let's play videos and cozy like hangout videos, which is um, probably you if you're watching this video right now, you know? Um, so I know that there's still like demand for that, but you can't help but like think about it, right? Um, and I mean, that's that's kind of the point of today. I just kind of want to take you through, I guess, my brain, which is a fun journey, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but so you, you start like questioning what type of content you want to make in the future. Like, do you want to just continue focusing on Animal Crossing? Because that's what every single person pretty much here came for. You know, everyone is kind of looking for Animal Crossing content and expecting that content. But then if the game like quiets down and we don't know when the next one is going to come out, you know, I usually when a new Animal Crossing game came out, it's, I think it's always been on a, new, on a new console and we don't know when a new console is going to come. So I have no idea when that's going to happen. It might be in a year. It might be in five years. And to keep producing content just about this one game when the community kind of gets smaller and smaller and smaller for it um, is like a really scary thought. And then also I I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, I don't really know. Like I still have things to share about this this game. Like I still create islands. I There was actually a few video ideas I've been thinking about that I still want to do. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, who really is going to care about like a video about I don't know, certain tips and tricks or, or or ideas to get inspired or whatever, when it almost feels like no one's really playing the game anymore. And like the regular content doesn't, doesn't work that well, you know? So I don't know, it's like, it, I'm trying to like bring these, these, these thoughts together in my brain and not really be completely all over the place, but I don't think I can really help it. But, um, so basically, yeah, I've been thinking about where my content should go. And then obviously yeah, I do kind of uh, try and keep an eye out on what is working right now and what's not working. Um, and I, I do notice that like a few creators can post what feels like any type of video about either Animal Crossing or also other games. And it really, uh, it just works, you know? Um, and then Sometimes it can feel like I try to pour like a lot of thought and 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 time and effort into what I create and it's just not really working out. That's not to say that other, I do want to say, it's not to say that other creators don't put work in. Absolutely not. I know how much work videos are and I, you can see it in their videos that they're like high quality, a lot of effort. I just mean in, in terms of, it seems they're getting a lot of views and it seems like the algorithm just constantly recommends their videos no matter what type of topic it is and even if it's like you know something different to their usual content and it it doesn't really feel like that for me so i'm gonna be very honest about this right i tried to do a video once about the sims 
a while back now. Um, I never really got into The Sims after, so I guess it's kind of not the worst that it didn't, that it really flopped, you know? Because um, I don't think I could have kept up like The Sims content, but um, I tried to do a Sims video and I tried to also link it to Animal Crossing so that it still had some relevance to my channel. And I created my favorite villager in The Sims. And um, that video, it flopped so, like so, so badly that I actually took it off of my channel because I was, I was embarrassed about it because I felt like, okay, you know, you do something else, you kind of go away from Animal Crossing and no one cares about this stuff anymore. And that's a really, it's an understandable thing from a viewer side. Like, of course, like I, I definitely gravitate towards like Animal Crossing content. That's not, that's not a secret. That's, you know, that's very normal and that's okay. And as a viewer, you need to watch what interests you. That's how this entire industry works. You know, that's usually also what the algorithm was supposed to um, reward and stuff. You know, if you make video and if, if videos and if you make content that's interesting to others, they will click on it and the algorithm will, will recommend it to others. But at, on the content creator side, it, it's a very tough feeling sometimes to to work through and to push through that you're not really all that interesting. It's really just it's really just the game that people are interested in. Same thing happened on Twitch. You know, I usually stream Animal Crossing all the time because it's a game I feel pretty comfortable in. Now I did just have the stream on Monday that was in my eyes pretty terrible. It ended up being kind of funny, but I was just nothing i decorated seemed to really work like i was trying to decorate the purple uh, purple colored section on my color uh coordinated island and it just was not coming together i was like struggling so much with it it was it was getting me really frustrated and really annoyed um but it's usually a game i feel very comfortable with and i love to play and i love to share my thoughts on and my my creativity on and stuff um, and then I tried playing Bear and Breakfast once and my viewership more than halved, you know, and um, I don't know, it, it's again, understandable and stuff, but it, it can be a very, very, very hard thing and hard feeling to work through and a very scary thing too, because after you do that and you're like, oh, okay, so this is really not that all that interesting you know and you also at the same time and i know you're not supposed to compare yourself to others but i really am not really i'm not great about that so you notice others who maybe try out the same game like they usually play animal crossing and then they tried streaming beer and breakfast and they almost had their usual viewership you know and then you're like okay so it's me it's it's most definitely me and it's a very scary thing because then you're afraid to try it again you know you're afraid to try it a different game again and kind of broaden your horizons like that and kind of um steer more into like a variety type of content or not even variety but just like bringing something in every once in a while that'll allow you to technically have a bigger viewership you know um because like I said, when, when Animal Crossing got released, like it had this big hype, but over time, until the next game comes out, it slowly but surely like quiets down and um, the reach is just not that great anymore, you know? And so um, the same thing happened about this Sims video because there is some other content stuff that I might want to try and do that is all like still very much in this like cozy gaming uh, side of things. And I, I do believe that people that are interested in Animal Crossing probably sh are interested in that too. But um, it's very scary. Like, I don't know how to approach it, you know? Like, I've been meaning to make content about um, Stardew Valley for some time now. Like, I was obsessed with Stardew Valley last year around this time. And I've been meaning to make a couple of videos about it or generally like recommending some games that I love and kind of explaining what they're about and all that kind of stuff. But I haven't done it because that Sims video like scared the crap out of me. And um, I don't know how to approach it. And I don't know if that's gonna be interesting or if that in the long run kind of hurts my channel more than it benefits it. And so I'm in a bit of a YouTube, not even in a YouTube rut. Like I'm, I'm excited to do this let's play, and I, I want to work. Um, after I get back from, um, I'll be gone next week, but uh, like and visiting my parents, or basically my parents will will visit me, and then I'll 
you know, drive home with them, go to the hairdresser there and um, basically, you know, spend some time with my parents. And after I'm home, I've got a couple of videos I do want to try out that are probably going to take a little bit more effort. And so I want to do that when I'm back home and stuff. Um, so like, I'm still excited to create content. That's not even it, but it's more like, I feel like what I'm doing currently isn't enough and it's not gonna wait I, I oh my god there was a balloon earlier and I didn't I didn't get it because I'm so used to just ignoring them on my other islands because they don't really matter and they most of the time give you trash and no new new DIYs and stuff but on this island they could still give me DIYs yeah yeah I honestly this might be very much a thing that we craft and then um use because it's, yeah, it's a little pouch thingy. It's really cute. It's really cute. I think I want to make that. Giant clam and summer shells. I'm pretty sure I'll have those. Um, but let's go ahead and collect some, some shells and then go over to some to some waterscaping. Sorry, I all, I totally forgot that I was going to get the balloon. So I'm, I've am i probably missed like one or two um, in the process. And you might have screamed at me. I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so I don't I feel like the things I'm currently doing on this channel are just not really enough Like obviously especially if I just upload the let's play I can you know I can see that when I post it that usually a couple of people unsubscribe and stuff and again Absolutely valid from a viewer perspective um, If the content doesn't serve you anymore, that's fine. That's totally okay And it's it's absolutely okay for you to unsubscribe like I'm not I'm not, I don't want to like okay I, I do want to say that I don't want to guilt trip anyone in staying subscribed. Like I'm seriously, if if you don't vibe with the content anymore, it's just not what you're looking for currently. It's okay to to leave basically. Um, so I don't want to I don't want to guilt trip anyone. That's really really not what I want to achieve here. Um, I'm just I'm just I guess trying to be like open and honest about the challenges of content creation sometimes. <laughs> So yeah, and then you know, I see I see some other content creators try some different things and it works really really well for them um, And I'm right. I'm like I'd love to make content like this too But then I never know if it's gonna work out and I get so in my head and so scared about it that I never really try Which is terrible like I should at least try I, if I want to do something I should just go ahead and do it, you know, but it's really once you've gotten that in your head. It's it's so hard to get out of it again. So, um, yeah, it, long conversation and prob probably like a never ending conversation. And we are going to continue for a little longer because, you know, we've we've only been here for like 23 minutes. Um, what was it? Six summer shells and two giant clams. OK, I want to I'm going to get some new uh, summer shells. Um, but yeah, so that's the entire like jumbled mess that's going on in my head. So I want to create like some different content. Um, and like Animal Crossing will still be the main, the main game that I play, but just every once in a while, I'd like to broaden my horizon a little bit, um, I guess pun intended, um, and include games such as Stardew Valley or just making a video maybe about the cozy games I enjoy or every game that I have on my, um, on my Switch or I don't know, that type of stuff, you know, and, um, I just don't really know how to approach it. Now, I do have, on, today on my to-do list, I actually have it written down that I need to brainstorm and write down a couple of like video ideas and things that I wanna do. Um, so, oh, look what we found. So I guess I'll go, I'll get onto that um, after I've recorded this episode. And I might, I might be more, I might be more like positive and sure about stuff next time, but um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on currently. So if 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 you only see me uploading um, let's play episodes and uh, my island tour next no Saturday this Saturday, so it's been up for a while now. Um, the reason for that is pretty much just because I'm scared. I'm scared of trying other things, even though I know they might benefit my channel. I don't know. Also, I've been meaning to do more island tours. I've been meaning to open island tour um, like submissions like uh applications what do you call it like you know like a google form thingy um because i think that island tours could still be interest could still be interesting i don't know do people still watch island tours because i technically or most of the time i pretty much only watch them when i'm 
really vibing with the with the island you know like if it's an island where i can already see from the thumbnail it's not really my style it's not really something i would kind of create or deem like pretty or whatever i probably won't go ahead and um and watch it but if it's something that seems like impressive and beautiful to me i probably will still watch it so i i don't know oh this is the fast butterfly that i couldn't get last time and it's all the way over there. Okay, let's work on some waterscaping and then see where, where this is gonna, gonna uh, get us. Now I will close everything, like even up to the river mouth because, um, because this might completely turn, oh my God, an orchid mantis in the background. Okay, those were getting us a lot of money, I think. So I do wanna go ahead and try and get that one. Um, but yeah, all the way over to the river mouth as well, because we might do it completely differently. Like we might build up the cliff there and um, like a waterfall might lead into the river mouth or something. So I just want to I just want to flatten it so that I pretty much open up all the possibilities. My nose is getting stuffy again, which seems to be happening whenever I record. <laughs> but yeah, that's like the, the basic uh, idea behind flattening is pretty much that I want to just open up all the possibilities. Sometimes it can feel a bit too restricting to me if I still have like the, the original landscaping up because I feel like if I decorate something like, oh, no, the cliff is right there. I can't, I can't really do this. Okay, hold on. I do want to get this butterfly because we're, I think we're like enemies. I need to like, you need to like run into it and then press A because by the time that you swing your net, they've gone like so far ahead, but we got it. There's, there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, when I, I think it was like in the middle of saying that when I decorate, you know, and I'm like, oh, there is a cliff there and I need to see that it still fits into the space when I might be removing that cliff, you know, it just kind of feels a little bit restricting. So most of the time I'll end up um, just flattening first and then starting from a completely flat island. But I also do know that sometimes that can feel a bit overwhelming for some people. So um, if you're trying to decide whether you should flatten or not, um, try and think about how you feel. Like, would you maybe feel overwhelmed by it or would you like to just start with a clean canvas pretty much? Um, and then maybe try around. Uh, you could try just working with what you've got first before flattening. And if you feel uh, the same type of way and you're like, oh my God, now I have to move this tree because nothing is, is fitting in and like there's a cliff and I can't really, can't really do it this way. And you know, then I definitely would recommend flattening. Wow, it's really when you've kind of like vomited your thoughts out, it, you, I can feel my brain being like, it was very messy. I was like talking about, I was, it almost felt like I was in the center and I was talking into different directions. Um, they all kind of are on the same topic, but it was a whole bunch of different like subtopics, I guess. And I was just kind of talking about everything at once, but I can really tell that like now my brain is just like empty and I, I don't really have a conclusion from it. I guess I already drew my conclusion um, and maybe I should just, I just bite the bullet and try, but I just never know really what is interesting. And then also, you know, I for Animal Crossing, I made videos about like tips and tricks and everything you need to know about custom designs and like these patterns and this, and here's my island tour on this topic uh, or in this theme. And then here's a few theme ideas for you. I'm not that expert when it comes to other games. Like there's just other games I like to just dabble in every once in a while. And I just like to play them here, here or there. There's another Orchid Mantis. But I don't actually like know a whole ton about the game. So I'm like, okay, what type of value could I create? Could I create? Because you know, I guess that's like the goal as a content creator is to make content that has some type of value because that way people will click on it. I don't know. Does any of what I'm saying make sense? Also, if any of you are are also um, maybe even creators yourself, like I feel like some of you might have your own YouTube channel, um, whether that is on Animal Crossing or not, and you're feeling the same way also, or you have like other things to add, or also as a non-content creator, I think that everyone can probably hopefully somewhat follow what I'm saying. I don't know. I, I really hope so. I really hope this made some type of sense. And like I said, if you do have anything you want to kind of add 
it onto the conversation. I'd love to hear it. Also, if there's anything you'd love to see specifically on my channel, just like like types of content maybe. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear that. Um, now regarding Animal Crossing, I... So I've been thinking more about, I've, or I've been wanting to do more island tours for a while. So I don't know if that might still be something that's interesting. And then I was thinking of opening up like a, the same type of style submission thing um, where people can tell me about their island theme or something that they want to create in the future. And then I create like a mood board and like an inspo section for them maybe. And I, you know, will end up having a whole bunch of different like vibes and mood boards on this channel. I don't know if that's really all that interesting either. I guess it's the same as like island tours if you're interested in it. It might be. And if, if not, then probably not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's such a complex theme and or topic and, and it, it because this this entire world of games and content creation and social media is always moving so fast. It's like you have one thought, but by the time that you you're moving towards, you know, putting it in action, it's obsolete already, you know? Like I've had oh my god. I cannot tell you how many times it's happened to me that I've had a specific idea. May that be um, a video, like video type, like a specific video or like an actual uh, video format thing, or I've had an idea for an island theme, or I've had a specific layout idea for um, my website or a card or whatever else it is, uh, or things I could include on my streams, like anything really. And I've literally had this idea and I may have talked about it like on stream or I just told my roommate, it doesn't matter. I just had this idea and then it feels like a day later someone else is doing it and I don't know if it's just because I'm at that point I'm noticing it because you know I've been thinking about this now and so whenever something like similar comes up I'm like oh wait they're doing this and stuff or if it's actually just horrible luck and people just keep like doing the things that I want to do but they're faster at like executing it because that's something I'm not great at I take so long from like an idea um to bring it to life like it's it's kind of terrible i the same thing you know on stream we've also had this happen that i talked about like my island theme and by the time because i usually only decorate on stream or also like right now for this island it's taking me a whole lot of time because i only ever record around three-ish episodes at the same time because my vo voice just can't do more and i also don't want to have that much already like pre-recorded up front and stuff as so I'm really slow with the process the same thing happens on stream and it's it's happened before that I've mentioned like an island theme or a specific idea and then someone created like something similar inspired by it and they were like done so much faster than me um so I guess it might just be me being really really slow at executing it but sometimes it can feel like horrible horrible uh horrible luck like it's just really bad luck that Every time you have an idea, someone else seems to snatch it from you. And like, obviously you could still could probably execute it and bring your own spin to it. But sometimes it can just feel kind of discouraging, you know? I feel like that probably is uh, understandable. So uh, that's been happening to me a whole bunch recently. And more, like, it, I've always kind of felt like it was happening to me. But recently it's been, oh my God, it's been tough. It's been tough. And then you're you're really excited for this idea and then someone else just kind of does it and you're like, okay, well, I mean, what does it matter now? Like, I don't need to do this anymore, you know? And I hate that I'm thinking that way because that's not true. Like I said, you can bring your own uh, twist to it and spin to it and stuff. And the same thing happens. Uh, the same thing is, is the case for, for, you know, like any type of, let's say, Stardew Valley videos. Like, I'm not an expert and I feel like every video that I could possibly make, someone else probably has done one like it too. But you could still have your own spin to it. I don't know how much of a personality I've got, but maybe you could add personality? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but this is this is the stuff that goes on in my head pretty much 24-7. Like even if I'm if I've turned off my PC for the day, I'm like, okay, I've I've done a whole bunch of stuff today. I should probably like calm down and just relax a bit. Like I think actually um the same is gonna happen today. Like I've been working for around two three hours ish today and then i'll be streaming later which is about around like four hours so i probably shouldn't like overdo it 
because that can lead to me also being not really inspired on stream. Um, and then I might take a little, like a long break and I will probably just sit there and think about what type of content I want to create because it's always happening. It's always on my, on my mind. And, um, yeah, I do need to be better though. Oh, that kind of, you know, brings me into another, um, into another topic. Now I, I'll see how like the topics are going to come to me, like how inspired I'll be to keep chatting, but maybe we can fill in all the water uh, and then call it a day. So we still have a little bit to do. We'll see how, how much this blabber mouth is going to be able to fill with the random conversation, I guess. <laughs> Just, you know, also, ooh, um, oh no, maybe we shouldn't mix that. I was going to say, tell me about what you're doing as you're watching this, uh, this episode or, or something. I mean, you still can obviously, um, but we also do have this entire real talk conversation. So maybe we, oh, maybe we shouldn't, we shouldn't add too much, too, too many different things to comment on, but all, also, you know, use the comments. I've, I've had videos where people wrote like three comments and I can tell they're like at different points in the video and it's always kind of amusing. I like, it's, it's always kind of fun to see, but I don't mind that. Like, I don't mind reading multiple comments. So feel free, feel free. Plus comments do help, uh, engagement and therefore the algorithm. So obviously, I mean, I, I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> um, but for, yeah, I was gonna, I think, dive into the topic of, uh, of to-do lists. Okay. I want to remove this part on the left here, just because that I always like to remove the things that kind of stick out and stuff. Um, I was going to move into the entire topic of, of to-do lists because as I just said, my mind pretty much goes 24 seven and I think about stuff all the time, like what things I can create and, uh, you know, new formats to try, new things to try on stream, new, um, island themes, villagers I can get for my theme. Like I've been talking, I've been thinking about this island theme for so much already. Um, I still have to code shop, by the way. I still have to look for codes, but I've been thinking about this theme a whole bunch. But I need to improve my use of lists and like, I guess, journaling and stuff like that, because I have finally started using like physical to-do lists again. I've been re really terrible about that in the last few months. And I've been, I have my own private like Discord server that I use to just jot down a whole bunch of um, ideas. And I have like, you know, like my friend code saved there if I ever need to give it out quickly on stream so I can copy paste it, kind of stuff like that sometimes. Um, and I use that for some to-do lists, but I was like really, I was like really bad at it and I kept forgetting to cross it off because it's kind of a lot of work and I didn't just want to delete the stuff because then at the end of the day, the channel is like empty. There's no to-do list, to-dos there and you don't really see what you've done because that's like, I feel like that's a great thing about, um, about physical to-do lists is that you can very, very easily see at the end of the day how much you've done and you can, can feel accomplished and stuff. Um, and so I use the, the crossing out method for the text on my Discord server too, but that just, I feel like that's a lot of effort. So I kept like not doing it. <laughs> and then I was just not using the, the to-do list and it was like kind of terrible because then you don't have a sense of achievement and um, they're not really helping you organize your thoughts and stuff. So <sighs> yeah, but so I finally started using, using physical to-do lists again, which has been, has been quite nice. I've been able to jot down like my thoughts or like things that I want to work on and I've been able to cross them off, feel pretty accomplished, um, all those things. And I feel like it's time for me to probably also, oh, this is a regular tree, right? So this should have a wasp, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Why does it not have a wasp? I've got like no trees on my island. That's fine. Um, maybe because it's a fruit tree, maybe these don't work the same. That could be possible because I'm pretty sure that was a peach tree. Um, so yeah, I've started using that again, but I feel like I need to get better at like literally having a list with me all the time. And just if I'm on the sofa and I'm like thinking about what type of videos I want to create, there we go what type of videos I want to create that um, I, I just, if I have an idea, I can just write it down there and then I can, you know, define the idea and make it like, make more sense and be prettier and more, more um, finished. Oh, I can't carry anything else. Okay. I mean, we could, oh, okay. Wait, 
Uh, in that case, let's go and swap the tree branches. I can put away the bells though. No, that's not what I was gonna do. <laughs> not like that, I can't put them away. Um, I meant like this. And then also we did make our shellfish uh, pochette that we never ended up wearing. But look how cute. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. That is definitely gonna happen. You better believe. Uh, really? <laughs> really? Oh my god, that is so sad. Great, okay, cool. I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, right, actually, we're gonna go drop off our, our critters. Also, I love how I said I'm gonna see if I can fill this time with conversation and like, you know, remove the water. And I've been just doing other stuff. So this video is probably gonna be pretty long again. But it's okay, because then we got a whole chunk of the flattening and removing of water and stuff done, which is just currently, it's constantly on my mind too, you know? Constantly, I'm like, oh, I still have to flatten Callan. I still have to flatten Callan and tackle that, you know? Like that's, I still have to do that. So um, getting a big chunk of that done is also pretty good, I would say. All right, and then we're gonna drop off some fossils. I think we're gonna do a, also Dottie is, is new, but I think we're gonna do that some other time. We're gonna talk to her some other time. Um, we're gonna do a museum run in the next few, one of the next few episodes, I think, because we have a whole new, whole bunch of new stuff. Okay, and then a little bit of space again, and then let's go ahead and flatten over here. Um, my nose is like stuffy and runny. Mm. But yeah, so I need to get better at loot using lists and I need to think about what the heck kind of content I want to make that is going to be um, sustainable for the channel in the sense that I can keep making it. Like it, it's no use making content that I just know that I'm not going to be able to uphold. Um, and also in the sense that it brings... It doesn't drive away too many people and it brings uh, new people in and so it kind of may just strengthens this community, I guess, because I do think that, you know, the core community like that stays when people do variety type content that'll continue watching whatever, whatever content the person makes. I mean, probably not whatever, but, you know, um, that always is a very, very strong part of the community. And I on I honestly feel like a lot of you, um, or or probably all of you watching this let's play right now on, what is this, episode 30? I think so. Oh, this is episode, episode 30. Honestly, a lot of you can probably be called that. You're probably all like the core community because not a lot of people would hang out with me as I, you know, flatten this island for, what is it, 40 minutes now? Um, and just talk about like my thoughts and struggles as a content creator. Like not a lot of people would do that. So I really, um, I really appreciate you being here. And I feel like a lot of you actually kind of like this pond. Um, maybe, you know what, we're going to keep that water feature because we might make it, we might work it in. And plus also, uh, that might save us from having all our villagers just stand at the, uh, river mouth and fish. <laughs> But yeah, I really appreciate all of you hanging out with me and I feel like that a lot of you who are still hanging out as I flatten my island and just blabber about stuff probably would also watch me uh, talk about Stardew Valley or other games. So, um, you know, I really uh, do appreciate it and that's also why I wanted to kind of chat about this stuff here because I feel like it's a very good uh, crowd to, um, it's a very good crowd to talk to about this kind of stuff and uh, so yeah. I don't know. I'm a kind of I'm nervous about this comment section, but I'm also excited for it. Um, yeah, and and we'll see. We'll see wherever that leads us. Who knows? Maybe by the time this video goes up, there will have be, been some Stardew Valley content. I highly doubt it though because I'm gone next week. <laughs> but you know, um, and then also you know next to the to do list that I want to keep using a bit more, or just like not to do list but lists in general. Like every time I have a thought, I need to write it down because it keeps being stuck in my head, and then I can't, I almost can't concentrate on anything else. Um, but I also like I'll forget about it. I'll forget about it later on, and. Um, so I just need to be better about lists in general, not really to-do lists. And the other thing is journaling. I've been meaning to start journaling like for 
a long time now because I've, you know, I've been struggling with um, some mental health things and some um, things that happened in, unfortunately, in this, like, the streaming world that, um, uh, that really hurt me and that really um, made it very, very, t like, they were really, really tough to process and I'm still processing it, I think. And I've been meaning to kind of journal during this entire process because I think that journaling can really help. Like I've heard so many good things about it. And I've so often I find myself, especially at night when I try to fall asleep, I find myself just spiraling and just thinking about stuff. And then I also want to, every time I'm like in bed trying to fall asleep, I'm like, okay, tomorrow, like I really, I have this urge to like do yoga right now, you know, but I'm obviously I'm not going to do it because I'm trying to fall asleep. Um, but I'm like, okay, so tomorrow maybe I should do yoga or tomorrow I'll I'll take a walk like it's it's supposed to be nice weather Which nice weather for me means not too much Sun and not too much uh, heat <laughs> But you know, it's supposed to be like nice ish weather tomorrow. Maybe I should take a walk. Maybe it'll help like um, Freshen up my brain or whatever. Also, ooh, speaking of I need to take my vitamin D after this uh, little med reminder if you if you're taking any meds and you haven't taken them today as your reminder to take them and also uh, hydrate and all the stuff, um, you know. But so I always find myself having these thoughts like during uh, during the the falling asleep process. I'm like, okay, I'll maybe I'll start like journaling tomorrow and I'll start just writing all this stuff down. It doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to be written down somewhere and like saved somewhere, I guess. Um, and then comes morning and I'm just my usual like groggy self and I just I'm glad if I can even like just get up in the morning and I'm like oh my god I'm so tired like let me just please I don't want to know and then I don't do any of the stuff that I wanted to do I don't do yoga I don't go for walks I hear a balloon um I don't do yoga I don't go for walks I don't journal I just I just get my coffee and I try to just exist you know <laughs> Okay, I need to see where it is. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I can get this still. I think so, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can still look at it. There we go. Nice. Let's hope this is also a, a good one. Who knows? I mean, I, I'll take 5,000 bells. Yes, thank you, thank you. Could have been 10,000. Could have been a cool recipe, but obviously we already got like a pretty cute one today. You know, like the little shell shell thing. We are going to be wearing that regardless of what outfit we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to be wearing this. this um... Yeah, yeah, this bag is cute. Um, I actually haven't worn bags in Animal Crossing for a while. My brain, my thoughts really are all over the place. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I also did read a lot of you saying that you relate to this and that you're kind of glad that it's like that and you you um, you just like hearing me ramble on about stuff. So I guess this is the episode for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've been over like a few a few things that have been on my mind. I, it's been on my mind to write the stuff down that's been on my mind. I mean, if that's not an explanation of me as a person, I don't know what is. <laughs> I don't know what is. But yeah, we were just doing Met Reminder and uh hydration check anything else um stretching i mean you know maybe if you're sitting down somewhere right now stretching is 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 sometimes very very good uh for for mind and body i think they say <laughs> oh my gosh also i think that butterfly is the yellow like regular one i don't really think it's like worth that much so we're not gonna do that also wasn't there supposed to be like the bug off at some point Oh yeah, it's, wait, it's Friday the 22nd. Okay, so maybe on the 23rd. I don't actually know. I could look this up right now, but I'm kind of too lazy. So maybe the next day that we start could be a, um, could be the bug off, which I'm, I'm happy to play that. Plus, doesn't that mean Flick comes around? Doesn't bug off, I mean, you know, obviously he does, but can, does that mean we can sell like, bugs to him like just any bugs apart from the bug of ones that's pretty nice but also that makes me think we don't have any trees like how successful can we be in the bug off if we don't have any trees hmm 
I really, I did not really think this through, did I? I do have a few coconut trees though. And I, I also don't have a lot of water left, so it's not a lot of water bugs. I mean, there are butterflies though, and then we might be able to uh, collect all of our flowers on one beach, and then maybe we can like quickly go to that beach for the bug off. Ah, I didn't think about that. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Cause you know, are there like cute things in the bug off like rewards for our island? There's the termite mound that a lot of people like to go for and that like artisanal cage. I don't know if that's really something that's like relevant to us though. Hmm. I don't really, the, 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 the backpack is kind of cutesy if you were looking for something pink, but I'm honestly quite happy with what we have right now. So I don't think I would go for like the, the bag either and the shirt and stuff. I'm trying to think what else there is. There is some like, um, there is spider webs, which I do love a good basement build. You know, I do love a good basement build on your, for your interior. So I might want to have some spider webs for that one. Um, but then obviously you can't choose a reward either. So, ah, oh, that would be great, wouldn't it? Because he just gives you like random stuff, but wouldn't it be great if you just acquire points and then you can just like purchase something with those points? Oh, that would be awesome. That reminds me a little bit of Stardew as well. When you um, have to earn all those points. What is that, that, that festival in, I believe it's like fall, summer or fall, where you have to make like a display of, of products and uh, you have to earn all these points, which you can do by like gambling or fishing or whatever. And then you can, I think, purchase like a star drop and stuff. But then, you, yeah, you just acquire points and then you can, you can, you can purchase whatever you want. You can buy whatever you want. You don't have to like just spend points uh, and then gamble them away and hope that they're going to give you good items. Kind of a weird, um, kind of a weird way of working, right? It really is. But yeah, I don't know if there is anything else in the bug up that would interest me. Because I don't know how many, uh, in this like romantic coastal retreat, I don't know how many cockroaches I'd like to put on my, uh, on my pathings, you know? <laughs> I feel like that, that's not, <coughs> that's not really going to be like a thing I want to do. Um, ooh, something I do want to do though, because I'm just, I'm, I have my mood board, like, I see like half of my mood board right now and I see the, the sea turtles word. We definitely have to catch some turtles. We have to catch some turtles, which I think are in a pond somewhere. Maybe if we're lucky, it's in the, or is it river? Uh, there's also the soft shell turtle. Yeah, if we're lucky, it could maybe be in the pond that we left open, but it also could very much be a river, river, um, fish. I don't know what it's, what it's defined as, but you know, I've just been also fishing. Ah, uh, still haven't done that, have I? Our water is almost gone. Okay, I might want to keep the bridge up for now until we're like very secure with money. It's not that expensive anymore to tear it down, but you know, having 10,000 or not having 10,000, you know. Um, so I think we're going to keep that one up for now and just worry about that later. And then maybe as an end to this, again, oh my God, I'm so sorry. The episodes are super long right now, which I know some of you really enjoy, but I also think that a lot of others are kind of... um. I don't know, intimidated by it. So I want to try and like get a good balance of longer and shorter episodes. But at the same time, maybe it's good for something like this, like the flattening, because then it's out of the way for a big chunk of it. Um, but yeah, maybe as an end to today's episode, we could hmm, get some new reactions, purchase something. I, I feel like purchasing something. I don't know if we've got enough money to maybe unlock a Harv's trailer thing, because that should also be introduced to us by now. I don't think we've been back to Harv's Island, have we? And it might be, it might make sense so that we can customize uh, certain things. Plus, we should probably like check um, our Nook shop and stuff like that. Maybe we can just quickly do a couple of dailies um, as an end to the episode. Is that more exciting than the flattening? I don't know. <laughs> I do think the conversations we've had today were kind of hopefully interesting and um, and, and, and just a nice little conversation on the side of flattening, you know, um, well, we'll see. 
we'll see. I, like I said, I'm excited to, to read the comments. And with that one, and then I think the second, there we go, yes. That's pretty much all the water, I think. Except for the pond that we're leaving up and then the bridge that we're gonna tear down another time. Now there is still quite a bit of landscaping to do, but um, we're gonna do some other stuff in between. Okay, let's go and start with, um, with Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters. Um, because maybe they have cute stuff. I should have like enough room in my pockets and I should have enough bells as well if there's anything interesting there. Uh, just in case there's a cute item today, who knows? Oh, see, there is. Also, if you heard that crack, I think that was my shoulder. I'm not quite sure, I think that was my shoulder. Yeah, I definitely want to get this. The ironing board, 2,300, okay, I'll get it. Um, actually, I think I'll just get everything today. I quite like the toy box too. Um, and then who knows, maybe we're gonna do like a juice bar or something, which we can use the mixer for. And so I'm gonna get that too. And I'm also get the tapestry. Um, not quite sure if that is gonna fit anything. But again, we're just gonna purchase it and then have it and maybe use it later. Okay, that's it for now from you. Thank you so much. Mm. And then we're just gonna check for Able Sisters. Because I don't mind her outfit. I think her outfit is really cute. Um, but at the same time, we're always on the lookout for something else. And I do quite like dresses in uh, in Animal Crossing. So, um, you know, plus we still have to get the patterns from Sable. Also, <laughs> I know that some of you are upset about me using socks and sandals, but I think in Animal Crossing that works. <laughs> We ran another tailor shop like this in a different place before we came here. That was the shop our late parents left us. But then Label went on her journey and all of our other friends set off to try new things. Also, it might be Labelle because her label is called that, but it's, I feel like it's Mabel Sable Label, right? So we decided to get a fresh start too. That's how we came to be here on Callan. And coming here was totally the right call. It's fun, the scenery is great, and you can beat the neighbors. But I have to admit, I do miss her old store sometimes. I do too. We ran that old place for quite a while, so it's filled with good memories. But it's still there, and we can visit it whenever, so let's just focus on making our new shop even better. Good point, sis. Let's keep working hard. Good old Mabes. She's really giving it her all. I have to admit, I know just what we, she means about missing her old shop, but at the same time, I'm so, so glad we came to this island. I finally feel like we have a family again. Aww, that's so cute. That is very, very sweet. <gasps> There's some sticky rice being sold right now. I mean, that's kind of adorable. Okay, no other shirts that I want to get. <gasps> I love these pants, but I, I don't think for this island, unfortunately. Okay, that might be, yeah, maybe nothing new there. Not really a fan of that dress, I have to say. Um, Yeah, it's not really all that great today, is it? Mm, okay, let's maybe get some sticky rice, though. Should we? Uh, maybe, no, maybe maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. It's um, it's a cute idea, but it, my the execution of it, I might not be the biggest fan of. Okay, so Nooks, check. Able Sisters, check. Uh, and then let's go to resident services and check if we've got check um and see if we've got any um any redemptions like mile redemption things we could purchase i feel like maybe we should go get the maybe we should go get the reactions because i miss them i'm okay with the hair cell for now but maybe the reactions should be something i do <gasps> i forgot to check this yesterday okay dang it all right, that's fine. Uh, new reactions notebook. See, these are really expensive, um, but I wanna get them. So we are gonna do that. Custom designs patterns plus, what is that? Is that that you can put the patterns on the ground or or what does that one do? I don't know. Um, it's not the one that gives you more custom design slots though, because we already purchased that one. All right, this should be, which ones are these? Hold on. Let's let's check this. Oh yeah, I can finally do the flexing. Okay, great. Great, great, great. I can already sit, so I've already gotten those. And then 
Here are some new ones. Aw, my, my favorite wave, the quick wave. Um, let's see if there's some more. No, okay, For well, in that case, let's get the Design Patterns Plus. Don't exactly know what that is, but at some point we, we want to purchase all of these, so, you know. Might as well start now with that one. Okay. Oh, wait, is that like the cutout standees and stuff like that? That might be it, because it just updated our app and stuff. I feel like that might have been it. Now I can use patterns with the custom designs app. I can totally change up my home's vibe. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I can. I can, I can. Oh, reaction ruler. We've got 20. Wait, does that mean, wait, we need one more reaction and we get more miles even? That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Okay, so what can I do with this? Where? As a top, okay. I'd like to wear that as a dress maybe, but not as a top. Clay, clay furnace, and a wooden chair. Okay, we'll take that. You know, why not, why not? Um, and then maybe we'll we'll leave it at that. I was gonna say maybe we can, we can go to Harvest Island, but I think um, we'll do that another time, you know? Uh, we do have to do like a museum run and we do have to do uh, a grinding for bells type of run. But um, I think maybe for today, this is okay. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for listening to me rambling on about content creation and all my thoughts. Um, I, I'll be happy to hear uh, from you about any of the stuff that we talked about today. But then I would say, uh, yeah, thank you generally for watching. And I, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future episodes. And then I hope you have an awesome time until, until I see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.